hey what's up guys the king of and captain the hours and in today's video we are going to talk about the samsung galaxy s22 series the tab s8 series and also the cs2022 of the samsung so without any further ado let's quickly get started you might be thinking why i'm covering the cs2022 of the samsung the things which they have announced are only two things and uh, kind of a they they are pretty easily understandable and uh, easy to explain to you all so i thought i can easily cover them all but if you are interested in a long type of video over that thing then uh, let me know in the comment section down below by the way the things are literally a small piece of things uh, so let's start off with let's start off with the very first projector not the very first in this event their very first thing or we can say the projector it was the freestyle around 900 dollars this is a really really good and heavy duty one projector it weighs around 2 pounds which is kind of a heavy and one of the greatest thing if you are around 13 feet away and if you turn on the voice assistant from your remote it's going to be activating so which is a really nice thing also on the top of it you are going to get is the 360 surround sound which is a really really good and it looks also really nice and it feels a lot like a table lamp and stuff also on the top of it um it got the wireless uh, connectivity support over your phones which is a really nice thing as i shown you in this image also they got is that ambient mode which changes as per your needs and stuff and which is a really nice 100 inches supported which is kind of a common in the projectors nowadays and uh, it looks also really it nice. got is the 180 degree stand which is a really nice thing you can adjust as per your needs and it also might be having that ai things which as per your wall it will suggest itself uh, that around the edges and that all stuff also the high thing and launch is that do so many projectors in this types of range and they are working on more type of these things and this is kind of a really good competition going in the market regarding the projector and that also links are in the icon make sure check it out about the high thing also the samsung was odysseus arc this is a gaming type of monitor you can put it as per your vertically or you can horizontally it is a 55 inch beast covered like a really good looking monitor also to spice up your desktop and stuff you also got is that a wheel to turn up, to change the lighting settings over your modes and requirement and it also got the multi view options you can also give it as per your needs or just as vertically or you can say horizontally but uh, just as good looking uh, monitor going to be pricey they got is the varieties for your home to spice up your home appliances if you know samsung me that type of things also uh, firstly they started off with the fridge which is a two or three door to four door fridge if you wanted one it is a really nice looking and samsung makes uh, this home appliances from a really long time and it is frustrating that variety also also they got is the dishwasher vacuum cleaner and you can say washing machine with the ai support it will tell you what type of things which you needed how much scoops you needed to wash your clothes and stuff how much time it going to be taking and do a lot of things so yeah it's a really pretty good stuff for your home and this all coming hub from the samsung you are like samsung's own gaming hub so basically the thing is you won't be needed to download any type of games it's going to be directly connected with the google stadia and the nvidia sticks and that all stuff you can definitely check out more information about this um, things over the nvidia links are in the right card so it's a basically nice concept and it's going to be applied to a lot of uh, hubs of this uh, samsung zone gaming hub around there some home a home appliances which is a home security related appliances which they have partnered with a lot of companies and they are going to coming up with them and on the top of it they also came up with the you make a thing which they have already came up with you are as per if you buy anything from the samsung itself you can design as per your needs and stuff and basically the colors and stuff not the internals and that all stuff so it's a pretty good design and there are a lot of things which they have i can say we announced uh, from the samsung cs 2021 you can check it out links are in the i card so now let's start with the smartphones they have came up with the s 22 series let's start off with the base guy the s 22 we going to start off with the as usual display dynamic amoled 2x hdr 10 plus supported 
120 hertz which is the LTPO type and it goes below to 1 hertz which is really nice 1300 nits of brightness and 6.1 inch display the operating system is common on this completely s22 cbs it is the android 12 based of one ui 4.1 also on the top of it uh, this phone's gonna be receiving the four years of operating system update which means android 13 14 15 and 16 so 216 is gonna be receiving and five years of security patch which is really nice talking about the processors Many countries gonna be receiving the Exynos 2200 based processor with the Eclipse 920 based GPU. It is a really nice processor and uh, it's gonna be the international based Exynos processor. And many countries such as the USA, China and India are gonna be receiving the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and with the Adreno 720. Uh, like 7 Tiger, it is now again a common processor. Talking about the battery, um, the S22 is going to be having 3700 mAh lithium in battery inside the box. You won't be getting power adapter, and the max power adapter support is of 25 watt. If you have to talk about the wireless charging, it is supported with the wireless charging for the 15 watt and reverse wireless charging for the 4.5 watt. If you have to talk about the charging type, it's going to be charging wire to Type C 3.2. Now let's talk about the main highlight of this phone. You are going to get a ripple camera set of 50 megapixel plus 10 megapixel plus 12 megapixel. If you have to talk about the 15 megapixel, it's a wide sensor f1.8 aperture. If you have to talk about the second camera, which is of telephoto to 10 megapixel f2.4 sensor, and it is also supported with the OIS. Wide, wide sensor is also supported with the OIS. The third camera, which is a ultra wide sensor 12 megapixel f2.2. If you have to talk about the video recording, 8K 24fps, 4K 30 and 60fps, 1080p max goes up to 240fps. About the camera for the front side, you are going to get is a punch hole camera of the 10 megapixels f2.2 wide sensor. And if you have to talk about the video recording, 4K 60fps, 1080p 60fps. So now let's talk about the varieties of colors you're gonna be having: violet, green, green. Pink gold, that's the color name, phantom black, and then you got is that graphite color, and also on the top of it, there is one more color, which is sky blue. If you have to talk about the storage and the RAM, there are two options over here, which is 8GB RAM, 128GB, 8GB RAM, 256GB. If you have to talk about the storage type, you are going to get is a UFS 3.1. Now let's talk about the bigger guy, S22 Plus. You are going to get is a 6.6 .6 inches same display. And uh, if you have to talk about the brightness, the brightness that going to be is also 1750 nits of brightness it's supported, which is really, really nice thing, which is a big brightness. And if you have to talk about the battery, you are going to get is a 4500 mAh of supported battery. And in sense box, no charger again with the 45 watt max charging capacity. Now let's talk about the S22 Ultra, the biggest guy in this complete series and a completely new design has been seen on this smartphone. If you have to talk about the display, you are going to get the 6.8 inches, 1715 inch brightness peak display. Talk about the battery. Massive phone needs a massive battery. 5000 mAh the positive battery inside the box. No charger again with a 45 watt max capacity supported. Now let's talk about the storage and the RAM options over here. You are going to get a lot of storage and RAM option over here with the 8128, 12256, 12512 and 12 one terabyte option, which is a really nice thing. If you have to talk about the storage type, you are going to get is the UFS 3.1. Now let's talk about that quad camera setup on the rear side. 108 megapixel plus 10 megapixel plus 12 megapixel plus 12 megapixel. We have to talk about the 108 megapixel, it's a wide sensor, OIS supported f1.8 sensor. If you have to talk about the second camera, which is of 10 megapixel, f4.9 telephoto sensor. If you have to talk about the third camera, which is again of 12 megapixels, you are going to get is the periscope telephoto f2.4. If you have to talk about the third camera, which is of 
ultra wide 12 megapixel f2.2 sensor if you have to talk about the video recording 8 to 24 fps 1080p goes up to 240 fps 4k 30 and 60 fps so here about the camera for the front side we are going to get is a 40 megapixel f2.2 wide sensor 4k and 30 60 fps 1080p 30 fps video recording Now let's talk about the Tab S8 series, the flagship types of tablets from the Samsung itself. Um, there are three tablets in this series, Tab S8, S8 Plus and S8 Ultra. This are the flagship types and so let's start out with the base guy, Tab S8. You are going to get is the 11 inches, 11 inches TFT 120Hz display. So now let's talk about the processor of this main tab s8 series completely you are going to get is the snapdragon 8 gen 1 series processor a uh, not series processor is the snapdragon 8 gen 1 4 nm types adreno 730 now let's talk about the battery you are going to get is the 8000 mAh of polythene battery and 45 watt charger are supported if you are to talk about the charging port you are going to get is the type c 3.2 and between um, there is no headphone jack also let's talk about the cameras for this uh, big guy we are going to get the dual camera setup on the rear side which is a 13 megapixel plus 6 megapixel sensor we have to talk about the 13 megapixel it's a wide sensor f2.0 sensor we have to talk about the 6 megapixel ultra wide sensor f2.2 we have to talk about the video recordings 4K 30 60 FPS 10 GB 30 X 60 FPS. Yeah, camera for the front side you are going to get is the 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. And if you have to talk about the camera, it is the ultra wide sensor f2.2. If you have to talk about the video recording, 4K 30 60 FPS 10 GB 30 FPS. Talk about the RAM and ROM. You are going to get is the 8 GB RAM 128 GB, 8 GB RAM 256 GB, and 12 GB RAM 250 uh, gigs. Then, if you have to talk about the storage type, UFS is over here. Talk about the colors you can say. You are going to get is the graphite, silver, and pink gold. Three colors over here. Let's talk about the upgrade over here Tab S8 Plus. We are going to get is the 12.4 inches 120Hz HDR10 supported Super AMOLED display. Let's talk about the another upgrade over here. You are going to get is the 10,090mAh lithopolitan battery and 45W travel adapter supported. Let's talk about the Ultra on this tablet. Tab S8 Ultra. You are going to get is the 14.6 inch. 120Hz Super AMOLED HDR10 Plus supported display. Let's talk about the another upgrade on this Ultra guy. You are going to get is the 12 megapixel wide sensor on the front side also, which means you are going to get is the two cameras on the front side. F2.2 wide sensor. Let's talk about the third upgrade over here. You are going to get is the 11,200 mAh lithium polythene battery. And there is also only one color, which is gray white. Let's talk about the VM and ROM over here. You are going to get is the 8128, 12256, 12512, and 16512 gig. And if you are to talk about the storage type, you are going to get is the UFS over here. The Samsung Galaxy S22 series Tab S8 series has been completely announced, and uh, there are some good specifications on this. Basically, I like the Ultra on the boot side, uh, and uh, however, if they are implemented uh, 200 megapixel camera on this time, it's gonna be a really, really awesome thing. I've talked a lot about this and designs, and that were already been leaked uh, over the weekly tag updates. We have talked about them. So if you have to talk about the S22 and the S22 Plus, 10 megapixel front facing camera, it's okay. Not the best one yet, but optimization is the thing. And the battery on the S22 is a really kind of a say, really low. 3700 mAh is not kind of expectable. 25 watt is okay time because of the 3700 mAh. However, the Ultra is properly designed and uh, it got uh, 
as pen supported which is a really nice thing and uh, there is uh, some improvementation over the AI and the millisecond things over there also the three of this guy or you can say the tablets and the phones each and every one got the under display fingerprint scanner which is a really nice thing and uh, also the tab series also got that pen supported which is a common thing if you have to talk about the phone itself the ultra guy it is really well optimized over the pen thing over that thing and uh, due to that pen thing the phone has also become a kind of a say thicker in the way and uh, also on the back side that complete big area where the cameras have been stored has been removed and each and every camera got their own separate ring and uh, yeah it is really nice 8k was also there last year and uh, same goes over here over the uh, tablet side i like the basically the ultra the tab s8 ultra it is a properly designed in the proper manner and it is good for the productivity and that all stuff the basic the one of the greatest thing which i like on this tablet series was the 16 gb ram option it's gonna be a costlier version but uh, yeah it is really nice and uh, both of the tablets were designed properly um 45 watt 45 watt charger supported which is really nice thing Let's talk about the pricing um the tablets the base variant of the S22 gonna be starting at the 699. The base variant of the S22 Plus gonna be starting at 899. The base variant of the S8 Plus, uh, sorry, the Ultra Guy gonna be starting at 1099. For the pricing of the smartphone, the S22 base variant gonna be starting at 799. The S22 Plus base variant gonna be starting at 999. And the S22 Ultra base variant, uh, base variant gonna be starting at 1199. The pricing is kind of a awkwardly type of design, but if you are looking for a smartphone which gets four years of OS updates, five years of security patch, then you can definitely check it out this complete series. By the way, this was the Captain DRS. You are already watching Gareth and DRS. I'll get you in the next video. For more videos like this, stay safe, stay connected with us. Peace out.